this video is going to show you the view edit tracking link campaigns page and all the fields on that page and what you can do. Uh, if, as you look above, you can see all your campaigns listed with the headlines of campaign name, date, cookie expiration, links, clicks today total, conversions today total, and actions. If you have more than 10 campaigns, you'll see uh, automatically the page, pages down at the bottom, so you can scroll through multiple pages. You can also show more than just 10 on a page at a time. You can show up to 100 on each page. If you'd like to search for a specific campaign, if you remember the campaign name, if you wanted to, for instance, I'll type in solo, it will actually show you just the campaigns automatically without having to click submit that have that word within the campaign name, making it easy for you to search through your campaigns. You can also use these up down arrow keys if you want to sort the data all the campaigns in a certain order if you want to see the oldest to the newest you can choose date sort and ascending and descending which one has the greatest number of links ascending descending or which one has the 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 most clicks for today uh, most conversions and then also on here i just want to go over these fields the date is the date that the con campaign was created the cookie expiration number, that is the number of days that the tracking cookie will be set on somebody's computer if you're doing conversion tracking with any of your tracking links inside that campaign. Uh, right here is the number of links you have set up in the campaign. You can click here to actually go to the links. The number of clicks you've had with that campaign today and total number of clicks. And same as conversions, conversions for today, and total number of conversions. And the last column is the actions column. This is where you will have several icons. If you put your mouse over the icon, it'll tell you exactly what each one does. You can edit this campaign. Maybe you want to modify the blocking of IPs or IP hosts or the number of cookie expiration days, so on and so forth. You can go in and edit that campaign, that campaign name. You can go in here to actually uh, view, add, edit links with inside the campaign. Next icon is for reporting. The reporting will be an entire report for all the links in the campaign. So you can see them all combined together and see the click stats and conversion stats for all the links in the, your campaign. And you can easily enable or disable the entire campaign from here. And if you'd like to, you can duplicate the entire campaign and all the links within inside that campaign.